If it has one end, you have to tie. The other end, I'm going to blow in, but first I'm going to ask the question, how many breaths of air do you think it would take for an average person to blow this thing up? 15. Let me try and see what I do. I will put 10 in here. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> This is not easy what Dunning is doing here. I don't know, it takes I've minutes. never been able to do this myself. But in one breath, if you use Bernoulli's principle, and because of the airflow coming out of your mouth, it's going to attract the air around it. Okay? And if, because it's lower pressure, it's going to draw it in and then it's going to be included with my breath. And they have devices for uh, uh, service station people that. That it does the same thing. It uses an air compressor that actually multiplies the amount of air going forward out of the out of the hose. And so, and uh, another application for this is uh, firefighters when they're uh, clearing out a building of smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, they will not put the fan right in the doorway, but they always set it outside the doorway some to bring in some mm -hmm. of the other air around it. So we'll see how well this works. Oh. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And then I like, whenever I do this in front of the cloud, I like to take it across the room.